Welcome to the OpenStack Summit in Boston. Can you please tell us your name and what you do? My name is Ed Warnicke. I'm the TSC chair at the FIDO project. My name is Balaji Tirajulu. I work in Ericsson as director of product marketing. Cool. So what is FIDO? So if you look at where we are, we're at the OpenStack Summit. We're all about here dynamically deploying more and more workloads, be they VMs or containers, onto individual workstations. Historically, we've used the network stacks that came in those operating systems, but they were really only designed to be the host stack for a single instance. As we deploy more workloads, we find ourselves needing to create many more complex network scenarios, things beyond the basic design that went into the underlying operating systems. So FIDO provides a pure user space data plane to provide those sophisticated networking features to the increasingly complex workloads we're deploying. So how does it integrate with the rest of the ecosystem? So FDIO has integrations currently coming up to Open Daylight, the controller, coming up via Open Daylight to OpenStack, so you can use it for your cloud infrastructure, your NFVI infrastructure. It also has direct integration with Neutron if you don't need a controller in your particular deployment. So it provides an excellent cloud infrastructure via these integrations. It also has integrations with Container. There are people exploring its use directly on smart NICs. There are people exploring its use in VNFs for network function virtualization. It's becoming the universal data plane, the common user space network layer that provides the sophisticated features needed in all these many contexts. So, what is 5G, and how does FIDO fit into the overall scheme of things? 5G, what is 5G? 5G is uh, not just about the radio technologies. 5G is about radio access, transport, as well as the core. In addition to that, 5G also includes uh, network function virtualization, software-defined control, and management orchestration and analytics. Uh, like in the previous technologies, like 4G, 3G, and before that, we always took the best technology that are available, and telecom industry used those technology. 5G is going to be in a similar way. We'll use the best technology that is coming up. So for example, for data integrity, security, we'll use blockchain. Let's give an example. And also 5G will, will open up doors for the operators and other industry uh, you know, service providers to uh, different business models. For example, uh, it'll open up uh, uh, with the best latency, very low latency, it'll open up uh, uh, you know, for real time you know, for the car industry. And it'll open up door for uh, uh, robotics. There are so many new use cases that is possible with, fi with uh, 5G. 5G also expect, as I told you, very high throughput, very low latency data plane. So FIDO will play a significant role in that area. In the next six, six to 12 months, what can we expect from FIDO? So, I think you can expect to see FIDO continue to expand the many niches that it's being used in, including a greatly increased presence in containers. We've recently just rolled out our first user space TCP host stack, which will allow you to run container workloads so that your networking completely bypasses the kernel, including for your host stacks, allowing a whole other level of speed up and a whole other level of the sophistication of features that can be offered at extremely high scale in performance. Thank you for taking the time to join us uh, today. Enjoy the rest of the summit.